Netflix is one of the major earnings reports that will be released on Monday, and investors will be watching to see if its growing investment in original content is starting to pay off. Julia Borston has more. Just ahead of its second quarter earnings report, Netflix announcing a big deal for Chris Rock's next two comedy specials, his first in eight years. They'll tape next year following his world tour. Netflix reportedly paying $40 million for the two shows, which analyst Barton Crockett says is likely a record investment in comedy specials. $40 million, though, has to be seen in the context of the $6 billion that Netflix is spending globally on content. Um, so if you're spending $6 billion on all kinds of shows, maybe you can throw $40 million Chris Rock's way um, and it doesn't really affect your P&L and, and maybe it turns out to be, you know, a, a good investment for Netflix. Rock joins a number of critically acclaimed comedians on Netflix, including Patton Oswalt, Aziz Ansari and Chelsea Handler, furthering its reputation as a destination for comedy. And Netflix's win is a loss for rival HBO, which has a 20 year history with Chris Rock, airing his talk show and previous comedy specials. This investment in Chris Rock is part of Netflix's overall plan to have 50 percent of its content be original programming as Hollywood studios look to distribute their own content more directly. There's definitely this separation that's happening between Netflix and the studios. Um, and I think from Netflix's perspective, they're, they're trying to position this as a positive in their evolution, that they'll have unique content that you can't get elsewhere. And that's really where what viewers are most interested in now from Netflix. And with Amazon and Hulu also ramping up investment in originals and HBO going direct to consumer, industry watcher Barry Diller said earlier this week he still thinks Netflix's strategy can pay off. They don't really make very much money, but they're going for a much bigger shot and to increase their subscribers so that eventually it will work out so that the economics work out. That's a fantastic model. They will, they are, quote, winning. I can't see them ever losing. We'll see Monday if Netflix's investment in originals, including this summer's hit Stranger Things, helps lift subscriber numbers. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles.